Good afternoon, my name is Josh from Cyclone Oz and here is your evening update on the rain depression slash tropical low zero six year that's about to cross the Cape York Peninsula and then tomorrow morning re-emerge offshore from the Cape York Peninsula around the Cassowary Coast of far northern Queensland. This depression is expected to bring very heavy rainfall accumulations to the far north of Queensland with accumulations up to 400 millimetres possible along the Cassowary Coast and about 200 millimetres possible across other areas of the Cape York Peninsula. We've got a lot to get a lot of detail to get through this afternoon so if you haven't already please consider subscribing we're going to be really releasing twice daily updates on this system hopefully as it ravages across the far north of Queensland. I would also like to stress that this is not a tropical cyclone threat, it just carries so much rainfall with it and the potential to drop so much rainfall that it certainly is worthy of all the, t uh, the attention that it is getting. So as you can see in terms of the satellite and rainfall picture across the far north of Queensland, not an awful lot happening right now. There are a couple of good showers and even a light, nice line of thunderstorms heading towards Townsville and parts of uh, Ingham and Cardwell uh, right now this afternoon. A couple of good thunderstorms as well extending further inland across more central parts of Queensland. Uh, you can see off the top of the Cape York Peninsula some of the clouds up here starting to get a little bit of rotation sorted and the centre of the low pressure system is probably about here, about 50 kilometres towards the north uh, west of Weeper. It's about to cross over the Cape York Peninsula at this time, make a landfall pretty shortly. Uh, in terms of the centre of this system it's very hard to pinpoint exactly where it is. It is just a really weak low at this point here but it is driving ashore quite a lot of rainfall and it's expected to continue driving ashore all of this rainfall over the coming couple of hours hours. So not an awful lot in terms of the rainfall is expected this afternoon and evening even along the central Queensland coastline down into the southeast of Queensland which is a whole nother story the southeast of Queensland but in terms of the rainfall forecast the remainder of Queensland just a couple of thunderstorms here and there with the isolated spot of heavy rainfall. The real stuff is going to develop from tomorrow morning. You can see the low pressure system here still kind of bent into the monsoon trough over the northern parts of the Cape York Peninsula but the rainfall really beginning to pipe up across the extreme far north of Queensland. We're talking north of Cooktown and Lockhart River at this time or up towards Lockhart River. The rainfall early tomorrow morning is expected to be moderate to heavy. It could even be intense at times, especially into the uh, kind of bend part of the Cape York Peninsula here just towards the north of Cooktown uh, I mean we're talking very remote parts of Queensland here so this doesn't impact too many people but for the most part the rainfall widespread light to moderate could be a little bit heavier at times we're also expecting moderate falls between Cardwell down to Bowen tomorrow morning be waking up to some heavy rainfall around Townsville as well tomorrow morning as well from thunderstorms colliding with the coastline but again nothing too serious down there certainly though some heavy showers are expected towards the 9am tomorrow morning uh, you can also see throughout the course of tomorrow especially into the afternoon hours a lot of thunderstorms expected to take shape across the interior parts of Queensland. Keep in mind that this tropical low has not fully got itself together yet. This is just kind of precursor rainfall and shower activity that's going to be happening across the north of Queensland. It is going to feel like a tropical low is developing tomorrow as well. I mean, you'll feel it on the coastline with that intense humidity being brought ashore values expected to be in excess of 95% over the entirety of the Cape York Peninsula tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be stifling indeed. And some of those temperature values as well, especially into uh, the interior parts of the Cape York Peninsula, they could go into the early 30s so heat index values are going to be approaching 40 degrees tomorrow. It is going to feel very, very tropical indeed. In fact, probably the most tropical it's felt since about April of this year. In terms of the uh, rainfall, though, it doesn't pipe up again uh, tomorrow. It really doesn't take shape until late tomorrow night when the real rainfall is expected to begin sliding down the far north Queensland coastline. This is the first real bout of tropical rainfall that I've seen on the forecast for a good six to seven months. So this is very exciting stuff to see for Queensland. Again, if you've been watching the forecast at home, it is another very exciting fact up. Uh, at play here, the amount of rainfall that's expected to slide down the coastline. So the low pressure system still not fully offshore yet by early Friday morning, but it's working on it. You can see it really beginning to spin up here outside of the Cassowary Coast and the Atherton Tablelands, and it's funneling all of that rain shore, uh, rainfall ashore uh, after about midnight uh, Thursday night into Friday morning. Now the rainfall is going to be at its worst along the Cassowary Coast at around 7 or 8 o'clock tomorrow uh, on Friday morning rather. Uh, some very heavy falls expected to extend up towards Cairns as well uh, earlier on in the morning. So Cairns pretty much from about 10pm Thursday night uh, through to probably about midday Friday on guard for some very heavy rainfall. Uh, a little bit later than that, the further south you get down towards Ingham and Cardwell, you're probably going to be talking about the heaviest rainfall being about 12 hours behind Cairns, but some really heavy stuff is expected to move through throughout Friday morning and into Friday afternoon. The worst of the rainfall should clear out of the Cairns area by Friday uh, by around lunchtime, like I said. Uh, the worst of the rainfall from the Atherton Tablelands will take a couple more hours to clear, and then probably by about Friday evening along the Casper Coast between Innisfail and Tully. 
But the worst of the rainfall, it will be falling between Cardwell, Ingham, and then down towards Townsville, Eyre, and Bond, where the most intense falls are expected, just considering the nature and the uh, prominence of these places to the coastline. The uh, rainfall is just going to be funneling here. It's going to act like a bowl collecting all of the water and the rain that has evaporated off the Gulf of Carpentaria, and it's all going to fill into the Cardwell, Ingham, Townsville, Eyre, Bowen, and Charters Towns catchment areas. So as such, the heaviest falls are expected from about lunchtime onwards in fr on Friday through to about 4 or 5 p.m. The rainfall should ease off by late Friday night and into early Saturday morning, at least temporarily around the Townsville area. But from about lunchtime Friday, it's going to be mayhem in terms of rainfall. So again, take extra care on those roads. If you are working on Friday, make sure you're getting home nice and early, taking it very easy on those roads, like I said. And it's definitely going to be a good night to spend indoors just with the amount of rainfall that's going to be coming ashore here. The tropical low really does wrap itself up quite nicely as well, just between the mountains of far northern Queensland and the ranges just outside of Townsville. It's kind of got that little sweet spot outside of Ingham and Cardwell there to cross over. And as such, it's going to organise itself quite quickly as it gets itself into the Coral Sea. In fact, offshore from Townsville outside of South Mission Beach, this system does re-emerge um, into the Coral Sea sometime Friday evening and into early Saturday morning. It's expected to blow up much more convection once it gets over the Coral Sea as well, and plenty of rainfall expected to be around the centre of the system throughout Saturday. Fortunately, though, for Queensland, it's expected to be concentrated towards the east and a little bit further towards the south as well. Now, the good news... Uh, for Queensland is the fact that this system is going to be a little bit further offshore than we didn't initially if, uh, expect. It is still going to be hugging the coast and the forecast has shifted a little bit further towards the coastline as well especially on Saturday compared to uh, this morning's forecast but in terms of the uh, worst case scenario this system is really nowhere near it at this time. Plenty of rainfall still expected to continue across Saturday and unfortunately for parts of Queensland uh, especially around sort of the early beach Proserpine area down towards Mackay there once again going to be in that funnel there where this rainfall is just going to slide up the coastline wrapping around into this system here that they're going to get plenty of heavy rainfall from Friday night into Saturday and even in towards Sunday as well. Fortunately though, this system really doesn't have a long lifespan. The sea temperatures and the uh, middle of the humidity values in the Coral Sea are not looking very conducive for tropical cyclone genesis. This system really doesn't have a good chance of getting to tropical cyclone status. Bureau of Meteorology giving it a very hopeful 15%. I reckon it should be kept closer towards zero, but that's just my opinion. I don't think this system's got a chance in hell of formation in the Coral Sea. The condition's just looking too hostile for it right now. Now, but that does obviously not, not detract away whatsoever from the fact that this system is going to dump a awful lot of rainfall across the far north of Queensland. And the rainfall, it doesn't stop either. I mean, you can see it here again on Saturday, north of uh, sort of Cairns, that sort of area. And in fact, just along the Casper Coast in general, more rainfall expected to pipe up Saturday evening. And the rain really steady throughout Saturday night into early Sunday morning as well. More thunderstorms firing up through Sunday. And then finally, it looks like it gets a little bit dry just in time for Christmas. On Christmas Eve, Tuesday, the rainfall clears out of the far north of Queensland. But once the rainfall clears out by Friday afternoon for Cairns, you're going to have probably about 12 hours of dry weather before the rainfall kicks up again Saturday afternoon and continues through Sunday and into early Monday morning. Plenty of rainfall is expected. I mean, that's an understatement, plenty. But in terms of rainfall accumulations over the next five days, you can see through to uh, Monday night, plenty of rainfall is on the cards here. We're talking about accumulations in excess of 100 millimetres widespread across far north Queensland. Again, 100 millimetres, not enough to flood a drain pipe up there. But extending south from Lockhart River, 100 150 millimetres outside of Laura and Cooktown. The Cooktown itself expecting about 150 millimetres. Into the Daintree, it's a little bit of a hard forecast there. I'd expect at least 200 millimetres for the wettest parts of the Daintree, especially around Mossman, but I wouldn't hold my breath for too much in the way of crazy rainfall there. It's going to be for those locations. Cairns expecting a huge amount of rainfall. And again, considering their uh, location and the shape of the coastline there, they're going to get a big rain funnel basically sent into them. And as such, I think the 200 millimetre uh, forecast, especially for Friday and Saturday, I think that is a little bit on the conservative side at this time. Castle Road Coast and the ranges adjacent to Innisfail and Tully. Interestingly enough, the rainfall has been back down there on this forecast, about 200 millimetres, but realistically, I don't see a world where they don't pick up 350 or 400 millimetres of rainfall, especially with the stuff that's going to be coming through on a Friday and Saturday. To the 9am on Saturday, put it this way, I'm expecting to be seeing accumulations very widespread in excess of 150 millimetres and pockets of up to 250 millimetres as well. And even though that isn't an awful lot of rainfall in the ground scheme, of things for far north Queensland, it's certainly going to be enough to cause some minor to moderate riverine flooding, and I also expect some major riverine flooding in some locations, especially around Tongue uh, and those locations. 
Uh, Raventhal and Atherton as well, about 200 millimetres or so a piece, but somewhere between 150 to 200 millimetre uh, mark. As you get further inland, the rainfall is a little bit more hit and miss. Mount Carbine and Chiligo, the rainfall out there should be under 100 millimetres, but still some good drops are expected out there. Could be some light rainfall tending to uh, thunderstorms at times. Cardwell and Ingham as well, expecting about 200 millimetres a piece, so some great rainfall there. And then, like I said, ta uh, Townsville down through Air, Bowen, and then down towards Mackay. Uh, the rainfall there is a little bit more difficult in terms of the forecast. I mean, it could go either way. Depending on where the system tracks, if it goes close to the coastline, which doesn't look awfully likely at this time, the rainfall there will be huge. We could be talking about accumulations in excess of 250 millimetres on Saturday and also in towards Sunday morning. But for the most part, I think the system is going to keep itself just far enough offshore as to where rainfall isn't the major concern for the central Queensland coastline, which again, is some good news there. In terms of peak rainfall accumulations, though, in excess of 700 millimetres, again, it's the same as yesterday's. Uh, there's this morning's forecast. It's looking really really, really healthy indeed, the rainfall here. And I don't think we want to see 700 millimetres, especially over a two-day period, get itself over the Queensland uh, coastline. That would be a very uh, kind of scary scenario, that's for sure. Uh, this is going to be a fully fledged tropical low, so there's nothing to take away in terms of the wind speeds as well. I mean, we will be seeing winds funneled into Townsville from the northern, uh, northerlies wrapping around into the system, averaging between 40 and 50 kilometres an hour, gusting up towards 65 or 70 kilometres an hour. So, a severe weather warning is possible for damaging winds. Again, I wouldn't really bet the farm on it at this time, but especially in towards Saturday afternoon as well, when those winds ramp themselves up around this broad low pressure system that will become of this tropical low. Winds will be in excess of 50 kilometres an hour along the coastline into the Whit Sundays for locations between Mackay and Townsville, and those are some strong winds, especially with peak gusts expected to be 40% stronger than that, up towards 90 kilometers an hour. So we certainly are talking about some significant wind gusts possible as a result of this system, and of course that will be carried over into the wave heights, with peak wave heights from this tropical low here, expected to be of at least sort of uh, three to four meters, depending on how this system does develop here. Nothing too crazy, again, we're not talking about a fully fledged tropical cyclone here, but we also aren't talking about a little low pressure system that's just spinning up a couple of clouds. This certainly is the real deal here for Final Order. Queensland. Some beautiful um uh, some beautiful uh, rainfall is expected across the far north of Queensland. I mean, if we take a look at the drought monitoring maps as well, even though none of these areas are in drought-like conditions, the rainfall there could still be a little bit higher, especially for the Cassowary Coast. They really haven't taken off yet. I know quite a few people are actually pretty sick of the rainfall at this time, but again, uh, another 150, 200 millimetres for a couple of locations. It certainly will be welcome, the uh, especially the further inland you get as well. Let me know, though, how much rainfall you have had from uh, recent systems, and let me know how much rainfall you're expecting as well. And if you feel like I haven't gone over in, in enough detail for your location, then please do let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you out with some more of the details in regards to this system. It certainly is an interesting one, certainly something that I want to be taking a look at very often from now on. And if the twice daily updates are your thing, uh, are your thing, then please do let me know in the comment section down below as well. If you're enjoying them, please do subscribe and also leave a like on the video while you're at it. The support has been greatly appreciated lately. A special shout out to the channel sponsors, but that is all for me this afternoon, and I will catch you all in the next storm. Goodbye.